Hello, in this video we are going to do a mathematics problem. You're going to solve an inequality that has an absolute value and a greater than or equal to sign. So it has all of those things in it. And it has a formula or a technique that's a little bit hard to learn, so uh, I'll do my best to explain it uh, when we go through the problem. So the question is to solve, it's a simple question, but it does require some knowledge. The absolute value of 3x minus 5 greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through this carefully. So before I do that, before I go through this question, let me just let me just give you a fact. I'm going to call it a fact. Um, let's say if you have the absolute value of um, a greater than or equal to um, one, okay, because we have a one here just for purposes. What does this mean? This means that the distance between a and 0 is greater than or equal to 1, okay? This means that A is going to be bigger than or equal to 1, or A is going to be less than or equal to negative 1, right? Because what is this saying? Again, saying A is a number whose distance from 0 is greater than or equal to 1, right? So if this is 1, this is negative 1, this is 0. So where is A? Well, it has to be over here right, greater than or equal to 1, or it has to be over here, less than or equal to negative 1. So that's the idea, okay? So when you're doing a problem like this, you want to use this thinking. So to, now back to our problem. So I'm going to start by writing it down again just for clarity. So we have that 3x minus 5 is a number whose distance between from 0 is greater than or equal to 1. That means that 3x minus 5 must be greater than or equal to 1, or... 3x minus 5 must be less than or equal to negative 1, right? Because the distance between it and 0 is larger than 1. Let's solve each of these now algebraically. This is pretty easy. We can add 5 here to both sides of this inequality. That gives us 3x greater than or equal to 6. Divide by 3, we get x greater than or equal to 2. Or, likewise here, we can add 5. So you have 3x less than or equal to 4, divide by 3. So you have x less than or equal to 4 thirds. I'm pretty quickly decided to just speed up a little bit here. Now, to write the final answer down, it helps to draw a picture. So let's draw a picture of what we have here. So 4 thirds is going to be smaller than 2, right? Because 6 thirds is 2. So let's just say here's 4 thirds and here's 2. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going to put the 0. I just know what, what, what's bigger than what, right? So a 2, right, 2 is, is 6 thirds, right? So it's bigger than 4 thirds. Um, so we know that x is less than or equal to 4 thirds. So we're including that 4 thirds, so we're going to use a bracket. And x is greater than or equal to 2, so we're going to include that 2. So we're going to use a bracket. So now from here we can get the answer. It'll be negative infinity to 4 thirds bracket union, and then bracket 2 to infinity. Right? Really nice, right? Simple. Once you know how to do it, um, this is typically, uh, at least in the U.S., in college, you learn it in college algebra. I'm sure you learn it in high school, too, at some point. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not too bad once you know how to do it. Hopefully, you've learned a little bit of mathematics in this video. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Check out my courses. The links are in the description of this video. Take care.